London, most people talking to me outside here are a bit disappointed we didn't get three points. Are you in agreement? Yeah, it was a, it was a boring game. Yeah. Boring. I thought Chelsea offered nothing and we offered nothing. It was just, someone said to me, that this has got nil-nil written all over it. Funny enough, he ended up one all, but you can see it was going to be a draw. And we needed, we needed a win. I know we've got an interim and we know we've got a new manager coming in, but... The, the, we need the points on the board we're here's slipping a, down that table here's a question for you do you feel like the way that that game panned out and how disappointing Chelsea probably were as for their fans anyway do you feel like that convinced you that you needed a win would you have taken one a draw that is at the start of the game considering where they are and how well they played this season the players that they've got available compared to us no because I expected some sort we did well we did we got a reaction we got a reaction midweek so I expected that to carry on so for you know, we've got a new manager, and it's a new manager bounce, which I hate anyway, but we got one. So, you know, I thought, carry on. You know, whilst Ruse there, there's a little bit of a feel-good factor. And, yeah, Chelsea have been playing good, but they don't play well at Old Trafford. They've not won for, what, 11 years, 11 years now. Years. So, I expected us to win. I thought we should have won. And when we went 1-0 up, I thought, can we just get this? Can we just go get it over the line? But to be fair, the equaliser is a good goal. It's very similar to Ten Hag football, but can you see minor little tweaks that Ruud van Nistelrooy has made there? I described that as a Villa performance. Shape was fantastic. We gave nothing away. I can't remember Ronaldo having to make anything. They needed to score a Wildy to get uh, on the score sheet. Can you see anything that he has done? No, because it was still the same boring football, to be honest. If I'm honest, it was boring. <laughs> And then when you bring in on Xerxes, whose touch is just... <sighs> oh. Where do we go with him, mate? Honestly, like, I the shape's know. there, defence is good, but we can't score goals. Xerxes for Hyland. Hyland didn't look like he was going to score today. Xerxes came on, looked probably even worse. There are attributes, but they're going to be judged off goals, mate. And goals are not coming. They're not. And I just didn't... I don't understand what he offers. At least... Hoyland, you know, he gets his body in. He does it a bit too much, but at least he can get his body in and he's got a first touch as Xerxes has at the moment. doesn't have that either. He doesn't win balls in the air. He got one flick on today. It's probably the first I've ever seen. He d his touch is just, it bounces off him. It's like, it's like a trampoline. He's just, at the moment, he doesn't look like a Premier League player. And he certainly doesn't look like a top four player because that's where we are aiming to go. Is that isn't it at the end of the day is that the concern that even with Amarim coming in he needs the tools to play his football Do you are you concerned with him not having them tools in the current Manchester United squad to get us where we need to this season because a two year contract for Amarim tells me he has to expect him results quite quickly and he's going to have to try and turn this season around how does he change it though does he I said it's like the mentality thing but like, can you install scoring goals into a player just by sheer mentality confidence sort of factor you can because it's if it's a system so if you're doing it's like we, we all thought what what, what is it was Ten, Ten Hart doing in training but if you're constantly doing things rep, repetition is key so if you're constantly doing these runs in training then you should be able to get in game on, in a, on match day you should be able to put that ball in and know your strikers going there because you've been doing it in training so if you work on things then nine times out of ten it does happen it works football is a simple game you made that run ten times yeah, it might not come off nine times, but that one time, you know, you'll score. You, but we're not doing that. Rashford whipped a great ball and did it once, and we just missed. Why not do it again? Why not do it again? Why not keep doing it? And then try something else. So I think with his system, it might work for certain players. It might not work for, it might not work for others. But I think a system, you know, new voice, it'd probably be a friendlier voice because he's trying to not piss people off too soon because he's going to need them on board you, you'll see changes don't worry it's not it's not going to happen overnight that's definitely not going to happen but I think we can I think he can we can see some changes you're holding soon. on to the confidence mate it's alright it's admirable it's okay we are seeing bits mate we are but before you go man of the match Landon who got it for you today Jesus um, I'm going to say Martinez play steady Okay, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. London, as always, legend, mate. Yes. Thank you.